Welcome to HP Calcs. I'm Rick, and today we're going to be having a look at how to convert between rectangular and polar coordinates on the TI-30XA calculator. To do this, we're going to be using the DRG key, located here, the second function key, located here, the PI key, with the second function X to Y, located here, the minus key with the second function of rectangular to polar, located here, and the multiplication key with the second function of polar to rectangular, here. All right, let's say we start out with rectangular coordinates. Let's say we have x equals 3, y equals 3, which should look something like this. Our coordinate is up here. To enter this, we would enter our x value, 3, then second function, pi, and our second 3, which is our y value. And then we hit second function again, and we tell the calculator we're converting rectangular to polar, so the subtraction key. This gives us our straight line distance along here, which is 4.24 two, six, four, etc. And if we want to find the bearing, we go second function x to the y. And this gives us 45 degrees, which looks right. All right, what if we wanted to go in the opposite direction? Let's say we had polar coordinates and we wanted to convert them to rectangular. Well, in this case, we would make sure we're in degrees, which we do, which, by the way, you can convert by pressing this button. Make sure that says DEG. And then we would start by entering our R, or our distance, which in this case is 4.24264. We'll round it. second function, pi, to tell it it's our second part of our coordinates, and we'll do 45 degrees, enter that, and now we want to convert these coordinates from polar to rectangular, so second function, multiplication, and this spits out our x-coordinate of 2.99999, which rounds to 3. reason it didn't come out as perfectly 3 is we didn't include all the decimal places. And you can see the x in the top corner there. That's confirming that this is our x value. And to get our y value, we, get, we go second function, pi again. And again, we get 2.99999, etc. Notice the x isn't in the top corner this time letting us know this is our y value. So, we're right back at x equals 3, y equals 3. Alright, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests.